Yeah, guys, a quick video. So in this lesson, we want to learn about fault voicings, or popularly known as quartiles. Some people prefer to call it quartiles. Yeah, I want us to dig a little into quartiles and then see how we can apply quartiles or these fault voicings in our gospel music. Cause these fault voicings are a real game changer when it comes to piano playing. Now I want you to know that there are several ways of constructing fault voicings, but I'm going to show you just one. Yes, and then we'll take a look at how to construct it in other keys and see how we can put it in gospel music. We'll pick some few gospel music and then apply them in. Okay, so let's start with the construction of quartiles in the key of C. Um, right, we know our skill in C, which is what? The major scale in C. Yeah. So, a very simple way of constructing a fourth voice in the key of C is to first of all, rule number one, picture the major third. Or let me see, picture your me. Okay, so what what's the third? The third is what is E, right? This is the third in the C in the key of C. Now, if you picture your your third, then you begin to count in fourth. So what do I mean? Look at this. Take a look at the scale of C and then look at E. So let's 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 do our fourth counting. So from here I'll count like one, two, three, four. And then the next note will be what A, right? Or I can say, what is the fourth of E? The fourth of E is A. If you look at this major scale of E, we have so one, two, three, four, or do re mi fa. Or I can say that if you want to construct a fourth voice, let's say in the key of C, picture the me or the third of C, and then begin the construction on the third, not on the C itself, but on the third note. Which is the me itself. So if you picture me, uh, look at uh, the the me is actually what an E note. So look at the fourth of E, which which we what the A, and then now take a look at the fourth of A, or, or search for the fourth of A. So one, two, three, four, right? A. The fourth of A will give us D. We can continue by taking a look at the fourth of D, which will be what one, two, three, four, which is what G. Now, I don't know who you are, but if you are not used to all the 12 keys here, then you will begin to struggle searching for the fourth of each note. Because from E, we looked for the fourth of E, which is what A, right? So, do, re, mi, fa, or one, two, three, four, which is A. Then we will begin to look for the fourth of A, which is one, two, three, four, E. And then we will play it as a chord. Now, I can even take just these three. And then, what did we construct this fourth version on? On C, right? So, I will attach my bass note, which is what C in this case to it, and then it will sound like this. So technically, this is a C chord, a C fourth voice. You can see a C quartal. This is just one type of it. Like I said, we have different ways of constructing quartals. This is just one. So the question is, how do I use this? And before even we look at how we can use it, I just want you to know that you can continue constructing. Just look for the fourth of your, let me say, melody notes or your, your first note, this note. So now we are in D, right? So look for the fourth of D, so which is one, two, three, three, four. Yeah. And then if you have 100 fingers, you can, if, in fact, you can continue to the keyboard ends. Okay. So now we are on G. What, what do you think we have to do? We have to look for the fourth of G. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. So this is a C chord. Now listen to the sound. It sounds very jazzy because this is a jazz concept. Remember, if you're a gospel player, it doesn't mean that only stick to what gospel music provides. You have to be able to listen to other uh, uh, genre of music and then import some of the things you hear into gospel and then your gospel will, will make a difference. So we are importing or we are introducing a jazz concept into our gospel. And I don't know, if you have watched my video on never would have made it you will see that i use this chord a lot yeah in fact i can do this now, just listen to this do i could have done uh, now i just i'm playing a six seven one right a lot do so i could just do this doesn't sound bad but look at this this gives you this jazzy background like jazz and gospel do you are playing pure gospel but it gives you this jazzy gospel feel now between this and this i mean i mean tell me which one do you which, which one do you prefer you can you can tell me in the comment section below yes and earlier i was saying that if you are not uh, able to play all the 12 keys then you may have to struggle or if you don't know the major scale for all the 12 keys you, you may struggle
struggle locating their fault, which shouldn't really be a big deal. I made a series of courses, uh, which I want you to check out on how to play all the 12 keys with ease. I will leave all the links in the description below. If you have problems playing all the 12 keys, just visit these videos. I have made it very simple in such a way that you can just instantly play all the 12 keys with some few chords, learn, learn the scale and everything. Okay, so let's continue. So this, this is your C. Now, if I should extend it, then I can, I can give, I can produce the fourth of G by adding the C to it. So uh, it will be like this. Then I can ignore this C and I come and play this. Yeah. So this is a C rootless voice and using quarters. So this is a one or basically a do, and I can't, I can't, I can't even tell you the number of songs that have a one or a do in it. Almost every song, almost every gospel song has a one or a do in it, which means that if the, if you can play this, then you can play it quarter. Because it sounds very similar to the, the, the triad, but they are different. This sounds more unique, right? Yeah, very good. So imagine you want to play the same chord in C sharp. What do you do? You play your C sharp, and then from there, now I want to construct to C sharp. So you play your C sharp, and then you locate the third, which is the me. Now after locating the third, begin your fourth count. So from the from the me, which is F, what is the fourth of F? Right? Then you locate the fourth of B flat, which is Yeah. So if you want, you can end here. If you want, you can continue. So what's the fourth of E flat? So this is all over the C sharp bass note. A nice way of voicing a C sharp chord is this. Just, just, just this simple arpeggio that I did, listen to the sound. See, it's just giving it this, this beautiful quartal sound. And I'm telling you, wherever there is a one, you can play this chord. You, you won't mislead any singer by playing this new chord. And one thing you can do, is to mess around with the chord. So look, I can I can just take this uh, and play them in semitone. So, do you ever hear these things in jazz and also in gospel jazz? There's sometimes we do it like. Uh, See, like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I, I think I'm forming some kind of groove with it, right? Quartals are very fun to play with. And this is a very short lesson that I want to introduce to you. So just take your time. Transfer it to the rest of the keys. I'm telling you, and I'll keep saying it. Wherever there is a do, you can apply this. Wherever there is a do, you can take away that do or that one. Put this one in there. It will sound very nice. And I want to use this opportunity to inform you, if you haven't checked out musicempire.com, you are missing out a lot. We have very exclusive, wonderful, detailed, patiently taught courses that uh, addresses the issues of uh, today's uh, piano musicians all across the world. And it teaches a whole lot of things into detail that uh, these are not information that you just obtain easily. But we have all of it at Music Empire. Kindly check out musicempire.com. We have four contemporary gospel course. We have uh, Ghanaian worship courses, Young Ponsa course, and all that. And there's also a free complete lesson for beginners on music theory. Yeah, you can be an advanced player, but maybe you might you have to go back to the basics and learn a lot of things. That course is for you. It's free. So kindly check out Music Empire if you haven't subscribed to this channel. If you haven't also and turn on the notification so that when a lesson is uploaded you'll be notified thank you very much god bless you let's meet in our next lesson i hope this lesson has been a blessing to you